I want to do something a little different for December. I'm going to offer you guys the opportunity to ask me almost anything. What I'm going to try to do is answer one or two questions a day for the month. So all you have to do is leave a question down below. Keep your questions rather general. If you had a question that you wanted to get answered, leave it down below and maybe I can answer it. Hey, yo, this is Dash. <laughs> Get ready. All right, so here we go with another quick question from for Ask Dash. All right, so here we have this one is coming from Big Steve. And if you haven't and don't know, Big Steve is the gentleman who sent out those seasonings for us to try. Thank you, sir, so very much again. They are awesome. I haven't found one that I did not like yet. Now, Steve's question is, hey Dash, sir, hi Hugh. He says, can I use a miter saw to cut the length of a log, not cross cut, for use in my smoker? Well, I guess it would kind of depend on the size of your saw. But if I have a log, let's say I have a, a log that's 18 inches long, okay? I know I have a miter saw that'll do like a 10 inch cut. So I don't know whether you can set it up on, you know, per, uh, I guess that would be per, uh, parallel to your blade and cut it maybe in half and then flip the log around and then cut it again. I know this probably isn't the best of examples, but I don't know is the, is the better question. What I have done in the past is when I have logs or if I have a piece of wood that's bigger than, or bigger than a split or it is not split, I've getting, gotten a ratchet, excuse me, a hatchet and a, um, like a hammer or a mallet to split that piece of wood and then I'll make them into smaller splits the long way and then if I need to make so let's say I have a piece of wood that's this long but my firebox is only this long so let's say you're using a like an offset one of those Oklahoma Joes or something like that and if you have a log that's 18 inches long it's not going to fit in there you need to cut it in half then you can use your miter saw to cross cut it and make it smaller so it'll fit into your firebox so Hopefully that answers your question. I don't know if it did or if it didn't, but uh, if it did, then yay. If it didn't, then comment down below more detail, and uh, hopefully I can get it answered, or at least uh, at least at least comment and give you a better explanation of what I'm talking about. Anyway, thank you guys again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Don't forget you can leave your own question down below for me and I will try to answer them in the order in which they are received. I'll see you guys in the next one.